Walgreens just dropped a brand new mystery pack. Let's go hit some stores and see if we can find it. All right, here at the first store, I found this lightning TCG box and one pack of Lost Origin. I'm definitely gonna grab those, but I'm looking for a different display. This is the display I'm looking for, but I'm not seeing any of the new mystery packs. I am gonna grab one of these Verizion V packs and one of these two pack promo packs here. Let's go to another store. All right, here we go. Second Walgreens and I found them. The brand new mystery packs with first edition gym challenge on the front. They have a few of them here. Let's grab some and go open them up. Back in the studio guys, drop a like on this video if you can. And if you haven't already, Follow the channel by hitting that subscribe button. At the time of recording this, the channel is about to cross 29,000 subscribers, which means we're on the road to 30K. So I can't believe it, but I was actually able to find some of these new mystery packs. Now they're promising us, well, not promising us, but they're telling us we have a chance of getting a first edition gym challenge pack on the front. Now what's different from this one compared to the last round of these that they did is on the back, they would actually list some of the vintage sets that you had a chance to pull. I want to say it was like black and white and like two others. I can't really remember, but this one is not not telling us that there's any a vintage, you know, chases really, not naming any sets, but it's showing us a vintage pack on the front and it's just saying, look for chase packs seated one in 10. And there was a handful of these left at the store. I only grabbed three of them. I didn't want to take all of them. Let's open this up and then let's go through everything else I was able to find. Ended up grabbing one of everything from the, uh, Okay, we've got Evolving Skies in the first one, not bad. And we've got a Hollow Scrafty from Champion's Path. Okay, that's uh, very unsettling to me. Had a very bad experience with Champion's Path. I'm just kidding, I really like Champion's Path. Everybody else didn't like it, but I thought it was really cool. Let's open this first pack up, and whatever we do find from the mystery packs today, vintage or otherwise, we're gonna open it all no matter what. Bam, there's a code for you. And it looks like that was one of the older codes for Evolving Skies. So let's see, we've got Fighting Energy, Hypno, Fletchender, Lantern, Bagon, Wobafet, Lit Leo, Dweeble, Hippopotas, Single Strike Scroll of the Fanged Dragon, Hiding, Smeargle for our non hollow rare. All right, like I said, I picked up one of everything that was in that new display. I haven't seen this as a four pack like box yet with a jumbo in it. And here on the West Coast, I think this is the first time that I've seen one of these little uh, showcase products like that. So it just tells you on the back that you're gonna get three booster packs, a code card and a foil promo card, but I'm not really sure what could be in here. So let's open this up and then we'll get into the rest of the stuff I got off that display, some more mystery packs, and then I still feel like I need to redeem myself on those Lost Origin three packs, so I'm gonna open up one of those two. Okay, so inside, looks like the packs are just kind of set in there. Let's pull this out. This is actually pretty cool. Now, at Walgreens, this was $19.99. I feel like for three packs in the promo side, it should have been closer to uh, $15, like $14.99 or something like that. Let's see though, let's try to take this Verizion out without damaging it. Oh, there we go. Nice little Verizion V promo will drop you into the sleeve. Not sure yet if this box is out as the uh, four pack with the jumbo yet in like Target and stuff like that, but cool to find it. Whoa, so Sword and Shield base and two Lost Origins. Interesting to find a product like this at Walgreens and I think even more interesting uh, to see it showing up in one of those uh, like kind of mystery displays because there's a certain batch of delivery that Walgreens gets with like their normal Pokemon cards and then whenever these like mystery displays come out they get one of those with something in there so let's see four to the front for sword and shield base I think we'd be looking for um, the Snorlax or the Lapras VMAX, Rainbow Rare or just regular VMAX form would be cool. We've got Muna, we've got Snoam, Sinisty for our reverse, and a Hollow Rillaboom for the rare. All right, we're getting some Hollow pulls today to start it off. Lost Origin, pretty cool that there's two Lost Origin pack in this. So my guess is that when the four pack box comes out, and it's probably already out, and you guys are telling me, what are you talking about? You're totally wrong, but my guess is that it would be two Lost Origin, maybe one Astral, maybe one Brilliant Stars, maybe they'll put in um, Fusion Strike or Chilling Rain or something like that, try to get rid of the rest of the sealed Fusion Strike and Chilling that they have laying around. Let's see, Horsey, Lickitung, Paris for our reverse, and the Polyrath for the rare. All right, next pack from Lost Origin here. Three packs for $19, like I said, probably not like the best like price to pick up that box for, but if you live somewhere where Walgreens is like your only option for cards and you see that there, I guess it's 
kind of like kind of a cool little cool little deal cool little box to find we've got Rhydon, Cedra, Snover, Hisui and Zora, Seal, Rock Ruff, shout out to Rudy, we got Ducklet, Cast Form, the Trainer Gallery card that I've pulled like what feels like a dozen times or more now, Hiding, the Cramorant non-hollow rare, all right let's drop the Cast Form into a sleeve and put it next to all of the other Cast Forms in the bulk pulls, here we go, let's get into this little two pack here. So I want to say that this was like $9.99. One Fusion Strike pack, one Astral, three promos of the birds. Probably not the greatest price for this, but there's still the Starmie that I need to pull from Astral, and there's the Espeon V Max that I still need to pull from Fusion Strike. So not the worst, not the worst uh, packs in here for the price. Let's get all of these promos out and our coin. So here is the Articuno Hollow, and these actually aren't promos. These are just the regular hollows from Evolving Skies. So bam, there's a code for you. I think it'll get you all three of these promos. Articuno, we've got the Moltres, and the Galarian Zapdos Hollow. Bam, and one Fusion Strike, one Astral Radiance. Let's start off with the Fusion Strike. I will absolutely lose my mind if I pull the Espeon from a Walgreens pack like this. Here we go. I guess stranger things have happened on the channel. Go back and watch uh, the last time I opened the lightning packs from Walgreens. Pretty unbelievable. Here we go. Water Energy, Dunsparce, Cramomatic, Lapras, Galarian Meowth, Gossifleur, Panpour, Eevee, Shinx. We've got Kangaskhan for the reverse and the Toxicroak for the rare. All right. One more Astral here from the little two pack. Looking for that Starmie V. Looking for that Dialga or Palkia alt art. Let's see if we can just even get something better than a hollow so far today. Just hollows and uh, promos. We got four to the front here for Astral. Bam. Oh, Lucky Leaf Energy. Let's see the Starmie. We've got Uxi, Overquill, Jubilife Village, Bergmite, Rufflet, Ponyta, Chatot, Bronzer, Mightyena for the reverse, and the Reggie for our non hollow rare. Okay. Let's get back into some more of these mystery packs here. I've got two of these mystery packs. Maybe we'll save one for the end. I've got the lightning box after this and then some a uh, little bit of lost origin. And I did grab that one last lost origin pack sitting there. And here we go. Not bad. Evolving skies again and a Galarian wheezing. Pretty cool. All right, let's put the uh, Steampunk Galarian Weezing. Is this, yeah, this is Shining Fates. I definitely have pulled this way, way too many times. And we've got one Evolving Skies pack again. Let's break into this. Now, from what I was seeing in other videos, it looked like it was mostly Vivid Voltage with a chance to pull uh, like Shining Fates or something like that. I'm very happy to be getting uh, Evolving Skies instead of Vivid Voltage. And again, that code card that you just saw looked like one of the original code cards. So this is an early print of Evolving Skies. Oh, grab two there on accident. Lotad, Emo Emolga, we've got Woobat, Gossip Floor, Hopip for our reverse, Heidi, <laughs> an alternate art Metacham V, an alternate art pull from the mystery hanger with Evolving Skies inside. Not the alternate art that I was really looking or hoping to pull, but I'll definitely take it. Metacham V, alternate art from the Walgreens mystery pack. Let's drop you into a sleeve. I think these alternate arts, especially from Evolving Skies, are just awesome. The ones where they put all of the extra Pokemon in the background. Now, I want to say I have pulled this one before, but always stoked to pull another alternate art. And I really like these ones that give like a, a big like uh, kind of background to it like that. You got the sky, the mountains. Too cool. Medicham V alternate art. Can't believe that that came from the mystery hanger. All right, now we've got the lightning TCG box. Save one mystery pack for the end, and after this, we'll get into all that lost origin. So, you know what I'm noticing now? This is the first time I've ever actually found this. So, this is how I got it out of the case there. Look at that. You can kind of just poke that right open there and look inside. That's really bad. I probably shouldn't be showing you guys that, but I guess definitely... Uh, Definitely be weary of this if you're buying this product out uh, on the secondary market or something like that if you're not getting it right off the shelf at Walgreens. Looks like they should, seems like they should put some glue on the top right there. But okay, four packs and one bonus card. On the front, they're telling us we could get some Fates Collide, some Roaring Skies, and I think that's Fury, this uh, Flash Fire, 
right behind it there pretty crazy on the back basically just says the same thing what you're gonna get four packs inside sold by the Fairfield company now honestly I've opened so many mystery packs I really couldn't tell you if Fairfield or MJ holding makes better ones so let's just see what this first oh okay it looks like we also grabbed the the uh one promo card and it is a Xerneas from celebrations very cool not the Xerneas that I need and the first pack is evolving skies okay this is not bad I definitely want to go out and search for I think just evolving skies one day and try to uh try to find what I can and see if I can pull what I'm missing but I can't believe it evolving skies again bam and that was an original code card here we go four to the front and we have psychic energy rescue carrier scrafty ursa ring cue to fly pikachu applin we've got emo emolga tentacool chin chow for the reverse hiding a glaceon v full art from the second Evolving Skies pack out of the mystery box, we hit an alternate art and a full art Glaceon V, and this is one that I don't have in the binder. This is crazy. Let's drop this into a sleeve. Literally the last thing I was expecting from these mystery packs. Wow, dropping the Glaceon V, full art into the sleeve. How am I getting better pulls from mystery packs today than I have in my last few videos from just regular packs? Let's grab, okay, looks like We've got another Evolving Skies with the Darulodon on the sleeve. Can we get the Darulodon again? Okay, looks like we've got the uh, Sylveon here. Let's just rip right into it. If this whole thing is full of Evolving Skies, I will seriously not complain. Now, I want to say that it was like $21 or something like that. Bam, another Evolving Skies code, and that was, again, an older code. So, looks like these were maybe packed a while ago. Water Energy, Rescue Carrier, Boost Shake, Rebombi. We've got Nickit, Bergmite, Carvana, Emo Amoga again, Slack Off, Ludicolo for our reverse, Hiding, a <laughs> Golurk V, all right, just a V hit, but honestly, I can't believe that we're getting pulls from these packs out of the lightning box, bam. I guess it's not too crazy, like I said, the last time I opened the different version of the lightning box, I had an incredible pull. Okay, another loose pack in here. We've got another Evolving Skies. All right, I'm thinking that this whole box might be Evolving Skies, and I am not complaining about it. Let's see, Rayquaza. Usually I don't have the best luck with the Rayquaza pack art, so let's see if we can turn this around again today. Bam, and that was once again an older code. So I'm not sure why they grabbed a bunch of uh, like original Evolving Skies to throw in these mystery packs, but I'm not complaining. Crystal Cave, Toy Catcher, Hitmonchan, Fletchling, Tentacool, Pikachu, C Dot. We've got Lit Leo for the reverse. Hiding <laughs> Jolteon V Max. The evolution pulls continue from the lightning box. This is probably the best lightning box that I've ever opened. Maybe, well, maybe. I don't know. Maybe aside from that last one, Jolteon V Max going into a sleeve hitting the alt arts, hitting the full arts, hitting the evolution V maxes with the Jolteon too. And I think there's one last pack in here and it is a hanger. Let's see, it's a fusion strike. Okay, so we had three evolving skies, one fusion strike and the evolving skies had hits in all, in all of them? I can't even remember now. Here we go, Genesect artwork from the fusion strike. Let's see if we can go some last pack magic from the lightning box. And then uh, then let's see, we'll do the, the Lost Origin, bam, and then we'll do the final mystery pack for the end. Here we go, four to the front. I can't believe this. this as I've been buying mystery products for so long and they're almost always terrible, but maybe I'm finally getting rewarded from some of them. Here we go, Vulpix, Zigzagoon, Mankey, Yvettel for our reverse, and the non-hollow. Pretty cool artwork though on that Absol for the rare. All right, let's get into this Lost Origin. I got an extra three pack here. This I didn't find at Walgreens. I just had this laying around. And if you've been seeing my last few videos, I'm really on a mission to just get like one decent pull from these three packs here. I've opened like 14 or 15 of them now. Bam, code for you. Bam, hollow, hollow promo for you. I've opened like 15 of them and I haven't really hit anything crazy yet. So let's do these three packs and we'll do that last Lost Origin that I found sitting on the shelf. I always like to do that. Whenever I see just like one box and it's the last one, whatever it is, pretty much, like 
pretty much whatever it is, I'll buy it because I just have to know what was left sitting on the shelf. We've got Min Xiao, Scan, Fowlinx, Oddish, Poliwag, Hisuian Growlithe, Lickitung. We've got Inkay for the reverse hiding a Hisuian Zorark V-Star. All right, I don't know if I'm able to say officially that I've broken the curse for the, uh, where did my sleeves go? Not really ready to say yet that I've broken the curse on the three packs, but I will definitely take the Zorark V-Star. Need this one for the binder. I think I'm about 80% complete on Lost Origin. It's just, uh, it's just those alt arts. I think it's gonna be hard, but here we go. Two more packs from this three pack here. Bam, another code. And we got four to the front. So far, like I said, Really haven't had the best luck on the three pack, so one V-Star, I'll take it. Damage Pump, I still really like those V-Stars more than the V-Maxes too. I think it's just the border. In K, we've got Box of Disaster hiding a Hollow Vile Plume for the rare. Also, one that I needed for the binder. I think this was actually the last Hollow that I needed for the Lost Origin binder. Last pack from the three pack here, then we'll do that last one on the shelf and see what's in those last two mystery boxes. Bam, another code for you, and we got four more to the front. Let's see a trainer gallery. I need that Pikachu VMAX. We've got Sviper, Stunfisk, Bronzong, Basculin, Jinx, Makahita. We've got Bronzor, Phalanx. Oh, no trainer gallery today. Last pack magic is just a non holo Clefable, but that's okay. We've had some crazy pulls already. I think there is, oh, there's just one pack left, one mystery pack left, and this one lost origin. Here we go. Let's see if we can get, let's see what someone left on the shelf at the Walgreens in this Lost Origin pack. Bam, there's another code for you. And we got four to the front. Even if it's a hollow, I'll just be happy that we rescued a hollow from the glass shelf at Walgreens. Cedra, we've got Paris, Inke, Jinx, Hisuian Basculin, Makahita, Trevenant for our reverse hiding, <laughs> Garatina V-Star from the Garatina pack art. Someone left this on the shelf and I am so happy they did because I definitely needed this one for the binder too. Super off center, but that's okay. Like I said, it's going in the binder. Let's drop Giratina V-Star into the sleeve. Bam. Pulls are feeling crazy today, guys. Can't believe that we got those hits from the mystery packs. Let's see if we can go last pack magic on this last mystery box here. I'll be very happy if it's Evolving Skies again. Please, please at least be evolving. Oh no, can I even open it? Let's see. Ah, oh, let's just tear through this side and evolving skies, but it's a Rayquaza pack and the reverse Booizel. You know what's funny? I actually needed this reverse for my master set for a long time, but I ended up pulling it. Here we go. Last pack magic, evolving skies. No vintage packs hit today, but that's okay. We had an alt art, a full art, a nice evolution VMAX, bam, and we've got one last pack here. Four to the front from Evolving Skies, and once again, that was an older code. We've got Digging Gloves, Stormy Mountains, Shell Gone, Slack Off, Gossip Floor, Love Disc, Fletchling. Oh, I'm skipping ahead. We've got Chin Chow. We've got Kyrim for the reverse. Last pack magic. Oh, it's a non hollow Stoutland, and that was a slash TCGO, meaning it should have had a hit inside. A little error pack for the end, but that's okay, guys, because you know me. I'm just happy to be hanging out with y'all and ripping packs. So, as always, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, drop a sub. I post a new one every Wednesday and every Saturday. But until then, be safe, have fun, keep collecting, and I'll see you guys in one of these older videos right here. Check out, check out one of these videos.